Welcome back. Your time now is 6:53. And here's what you need to know before you head out the door. Tropical storm Cindy is being felt right here in the valley. The island is expecting to see large surf and higher tides over the next two days. Channel 5's Catalina Cruz is live on South Padre Island. Catalina, what does the water look like right now? Good morning, Gabriella and Alan. Well, right now there's a constant flow of waves coming onto the shore. We estimate some of those waves peaking between four to six feet at some times. Um, but as mentioned earlier in our newscast, there is uh, between co for Coastal Willacy and Cameron County, there are high surf advisory and rip current risk warnings out there. Um, so that basically means that swimming on the island right now is extremely dangerous. If you do plan on coming to the island and swimming, there are some things things to keep in mind. If you get caught in a rip curtain, don't fight it. The currents average one to two feet per second. Don't try to swim directly to shore. Swim parallel to the shore until you can escape that current. Once you are free from the current, swim at an angle towards the shore. Now, if you can't reach the shore, try to relax, float to conserve your energy, try calling out for help or waving somebody down. Officials say the most important thing is to stay calm because when you panic, you exert more energy and you get tired quicker. Of course, the best advice is to avoid swimming during times of rip current risk altogether. Now, the high tides and the currents are expected to last through tomorrow, so if you plan on heading to the island, be sure to keep this in mind, take it into consideration, and watch out for any warning signs like the one behind me that will alert you to any danger. Live from South Padre Island, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News, this morning.